in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, our Lord himself had told us that you shall know them by their fruits. The evaluation, the scale of a life of a person is not by how he speaks, but what kinds of fruits he bears in his life. Fruits of freedom, fellowship and justice. Therefore, Jesus also uses the same measuring rod for his own life. You are accusing me of performing these things with the help of the Belzebul, but the works that I do itself bear witness that I come from God. Therefore, the Lord healed the crippled, gave sight to the blind, made the mute speak, made the deaf hear, cleansed the leper. These very acts of power of God which are manifested in the works of Jesus tells that he was the promised Messiah of the Old Testament. Therefore, Jesus very calmly and very profoundly tells that you judge me by my action because my action reveal the power of God. In the first reading we listen that the redemption of God is not only meant for Christians or Jews but it is meant for everyone. We read in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus telling, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Jesus did not say, Blessed are the only baptized, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. All our sacraments, our participation, our worship in the church is the goal towards making us pure in heart, so that in the purity of heart we may see Jesus, we may involve ourselves in loving service with one another. If our sacraments, if our daily participation of the Eucharist is not making us pure in heart, then we need to look, look deeply within ourselves and see where I am lacking in, in rooting the word of Christ in my life. Because Jesus says, it is not those who call me Lord, Lord shall enter the kingdom of God, but to those who do the will of the Father, those who do the will of God, to do, 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 do the word of God. Therefore, in the evening of our life, we will be judged not based on, of our, solely of our religion. We see in the Matthew chapter 25, based on the love we have shared. I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was naked and I was in prison. You clothed me and you visited me. Where is religion here? Where is originality here? Only the expression of the mercy, expression of the love of God, which he expressed in them to the person of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Therefore, let us be transformed by the faith that we profess. May that faith in the crucified and risen Jesus help us to celebrate our liturgy and live our liturgy in our daily life in fellowship and justice. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.